for Victor Laszlo to see this man walk in in the most exquisitely tailored, double-breasted cream suit. He's not quite the idea that we now have of freedom fighters, but because the film is so convincing as it is, you totally accept it. Ingrid Bergman's costumes were amazing, from the hats, which became the signature of the end of that movie. We'll always have Paris. We didn't have, we, we lost it until you came to Casablanca. My favorite costume, of course, is the costume she wears after Rick completely inebriated, you know, says all the wrong things to her. And she sees him in the marketplace the next day, and she won't talk to him. I'll be leaving Casablanca soon, and we'll never see each other again. The design of that costume is my favorite costume in the picture. Within these incredibly elegant clothes, they've managed to keep some sense of youth and of innocence. You don't, for a second, look at and go, oh, look, there's Ingrid Bergman in silly film star clothes, however beautiful. Her clothes are exquisitely simple. She was such a beautiful woman that there was no real reason to give her frills or anything flowery.